there seems to be a lack of clarity about the value or purpose of a vaccination. Just a reminder that it's not a silver bullet. So we went out onto the streets and there, there's mixed reaction. Some still believe they'll get complete protection. This community member says uh, when he gets vaccinated, he thinks the virus will decrease. He says when he is vaccinated, he doesn't think he will get COVID-19. And this community member says when he is vaccinated, he will be protected. Even if you have had the vaccine and you are well, uh, well protected, let's keep those protocols in place for the sake of those who haven't been vaccinated. It's a constant reminder at vaccination sites, you're still not 100% safe, but even still. On the second jab, I hope that I'm going to be um, not going to be able to, co to contract COVID and that I'm going to be able to travel. To go to it will be uh, uh, less contract COVID now because and, uh, I'm safe now because of the vaccine that I got today. What level of protection are you hoping to get from this vaccine? Uh, well, 100%, near 100%. And this is what the experts say. South Africa's top vaccinologist, Dr. Shabir Mahdi, who has just got his jab, says if the public believes they're completely immune against the virus by being vaccinated, that's an incorrect belief. So I think it's important for us to understand in South Africa that this current generation of COVID-19 vaccines, including the Pfizer vaccine and perhaps even more so for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, has got its limitations when it comes to try, trying to prevent infection from the variant that's circulating in South Africa. These vaccines, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the Pfizer vaccine, will do a phenomenal job in protecting people from being hospitalized and from dying from COVID. And that is what these vaccines are all about right now in South Africa. It's not about protecting people from becoming infected with the virus or developing mild symptoms. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine, as an example, its effectiveness in preventing mild, moderate infection is only in a region of about 50%. That means one out of every two people that are vaccinated, if they're exposed to the virus, they might still develop COVID. But they're not going to end up in hospital. They're going to develop mild symptoms. They might have a cough, they might have a runny nose, a fever for one or two days. So these vaccines are really great. And it is exactly what we require in South Africa right now to protect people from being hospitalized and to protect people from dying. But these are not vaccines that are going to prevent people from being infected and from developing mild symptoms. So if the public believes that they're completely immune against the virus uh, by being vaccinated, that's a false belief. That's an incorrect belief. But at the same time, that doesn't mean people shouldn't come forward to be vaccinated because if they're wanting to offer themselves the opportunity of being protected, from being hospitalized and from dying, the only way to do it is by getting vaccinated as quickly as possible. A case in point, the Gauteng Health MEC who has now tested positive after being vaccinated. So the question is, just how much protection do these vaccines offer? Most of these vaccines really start working about 7 to 14 days after a person has been vaccinated, after they receive the first dose. But there are some nuances to that, uh, in that uh, it starts protecting against the virus that it was designed for. So the original virus that was circulating in South Africa, we expect to start getting protection after 7 to 14 days. Unfortunately, with the variant that's circulating in South Africa, it's relatively resistant to the antibody that's induced by these vaccines. So for most people, they would only get good enough immune responses after a second dose of vaccine about seven days after second dose of vaccine. But that doesn't mean they're not protected, at least against severe disease in that interim period. But the optimal protection will only materialize probably after the second dose of the vaccine. But there is another dimension to this. And the other important dimension to this is recent findings which indicate that people that have been previously infected to the virus, if they get a single dose of vaccine, including the Pfizer vaccine, they get a phenomenal antibody response. And that is probably equivalent, if not better, than two doses of vaccine in an individual that hasn't been previously exposed. Why is that important for South Africa? We've done a number of zero surveys in different parts of the country, and all of the evidence indicates that in South Africa, between 40 to 60 percent of people have already been infected with the virus during the course of the first two waves. 
which means that the majority of people that will be vaccinated, they will probably have really good immune responses just after a single dose of the vaccine. And it's normal to experience some side effects after getting vaccinated. All vaccines have got side effects and in fact I myself expect to have a mild fever tomorrow, I expect to have some tenderness, but those are good signs. It means my body, is, my immune system is mounting a response to the vaccine, which is exactly what we want. But generally those side effects are self-limiting. They are going to disappear with almost no treatment over the course of the next 48 hours or so. So to roll up your sleeve or not, the choice is yours. But if you do, it's either the two-shot Pfizer or single Johnson & Johnson shot. Here, you don't get to choose. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News in Johannesburg.